There are all kinds of finishing touches that can make a huge difference in how your videos do. Hi everybody, I'm Karina Fragoso and I have a channel called English in Brazil where I teach English to Brazilians and discuss a variety of topics. Let me explain how playlists, subtitles and end screens can help you. When people go to your channel homepage and see your playlists, they will immediately have an idea of the topics you discuss in your videos. Once they click on a video in a playlist, the next video is going to play automatically, which will keep this viewer engaged longer and it may increase your channel's watch time. Playlists also allow you to organize your content and make it easier for the viewer to find what they're looking for. In educational channels like mine, uh, some possible playlists are vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, and inside each playlist, I can organize my classes in a sequence, for example, class one, class two, class three. End screens give your viewers suggestions on videos they could watch next. You can choose a specific video or let YouTube do the job for you by choosing best for viewer or most recent video. In a channel like mine, for example, I can recommend the next class or if I make a video about grammar, I can recommend other videos about grammar. So by choosing the right end screens, you can try to keep your audience engaged longer. So it's really useful. Subtitles allow people from other parts of the world to understand your content, as well as people who are hearing impaired. And it's nice because the community can help you. If you click on the closed caption symbol, you can get a link and you can share this link on your community tab and people can contribute with the subtitles for this video. When I make videos in English, I add subtitles in both English and Portuguese using the YouTube tool. As an English teaching channel, I don't like adding subtitles in the video itself because I like to give people the option to watch my videos with or without subtitles. Some learners want to challenge themselves and practice their listening ability. My followers really like it when I do it and they keep asking me to make more videos using this tool. Because my channel is focused on the Brazilian community, uh, most of my titles are in Portuguese, but when I make a video in English, I like to translate the title of this video so that it can be found by people from other countries too. Don't take playlists, end screens, subtitles and translations for granted because they can be really, really useful. So I really hope you guys liked this masterclass series on how to stand out on YouTube. Feel free to share your tips on how to stand out on YouTube in the comment section. I'd love to read your suggestions because we're always learning something. And don't forget to subscribe to the Creator Academy for more masterclasses like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.